Hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Prison Architect. This episode, we will be taking a new look at our prison, because I have taken the time to fill up a majority of our prison with these, uh, these high-class prisoners of sorts. When I mean high-class, I mean maximum security prisoners. Yes, at any moment they could stab each other, like these two, they're gonna go stabby stabby. Where these guards at any time could be stabbed to death or anybody in the Alcoholics Anonymous group could just die from a fatal drug overdose. But uh, we tend not to think about that. We tend to think of our uh, max security prisoners as sort of helpers around the prison. People who get things done. People who are invested in our prison and, and want to make lives better, I guess you could say. And, you know, they're sleeping and they're sawing. Uh, I mean, look, someone, a friendly person died. Okay, a friendly guard died. Okay, two friendly guards. Died. Oh crap. Um, let's get. Um. Okay. Uh, hurry, please. Uh, free fire, enable. Free fire. Okay, I we really need you to hurry. Uh, let's get some guards down into wherever. Arm guard. Arm guard. Would you mind? Something has broken out here. Something serious is actually broken out. Armed guard, you are taking forever. Okay, guards, get down here, get down here right now. Come on, go, 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 guards, go, go, go. Okay, we gotta retake the prison. We gotta retake this prison. Crap, this isn't good. Aw, oh, crap, they're escaping. They've escaped. Aw, oh, no. Aw, oh, crap. Oh, they're escaping. Don't close the door. Oh, it's damaged. Crap, they've broken the doors. Okay, um, I should have just hired. I don't even know where that armor guy went. Okay, let's, yeah, some, some serious stuff is breaking now. Let's get ourselves a, uh, armed guard right this second. Okay. Use force! Use it, force! Come on. Everyone go back to what the heck was going on. Aw, oh, crap. Okay, we're doing a lockdown. Not a lockdown. We're doing a, a bang up. We're banging it up. Everybody, get back to yourselves if you can. There's a major security crisis going down. Oh crap, those guys are escaping. Get them. Get them. Get them. Get them. Hey, hey. What are they doing? So stop them. Yes, thank you. Okay. Oh crap, there's another horde coming down this way. <laughs> oh my good gosh. What has happened? It's armed guard versus prison. Who's gonna win? Fire! Fire a bat will! Fire! Fire! What are you doing? Don't stand there! Shoot them! Shoot them! Thank you. Thank you. Holy crap! What is going on? What caused that? Okay, everybody good. Is everyone good? How many of our guards just died? Oh my gosh, 13 dead bodies! Holy crap. Okay, let's get rid of that bang up. Okay, yeah, that was a point I was gonna go to right away, is that we need a heck of a lot more guards because we have all max sec and we just have a serious guard shortage so we're just gonna spend a big part of our budget on increasing our guards back up to a somewhat reasonable amount we'll go with 45 guards uh for 200 almost 180 prisoners we should still really have like a two to one ratio and that'd be much better um we need to kind of control uh our guards uh so we can get um more our guard patrols. Yeah, we need more on each patrol. So let's put... This is going to be kind of our max security. So I think I'm going to put an armed patrol actually here. How many armed patrols do we have? We have two, and I think I just hired a third. So they should all be filled. So this is going to be max sec. Uh, let's actually do that right now. Uh, yes, it's going to be maximum security as well. So we're going to contain most of our maximum security all in like one place down here. And we're going to obviously have the most guards in this one kind of unit area. So... Um, there usually always be someone in there. Oh, escapes. Oh, they still haven't fixed that. Why haven't you guys fixed that? Okay. Um, this, this has been fixed. Okay. Jeez, wow, they just broke out of the prison. No, they had keys, so... Darn. Did they break into a security room or something? I have no idea. All I know is that that was pretty darn scary. We should probably make a solitary door to enter and exit the prison, you think? Probably be better than whatever the heck we're doing right now. Wow. There's a lot of dead people. 
And we now have uh, 27 awaiting solitary confinement. Yeah, I had literally just done a uh, shakedown the previous night because I was uh, trying to get all of my, uh, or like my whole entire prison in order before I, uh, I recorded this episode. I've actually noticed as I've been recording this, my microphone has been sliding down. So hold on, let me adjust this so I can actually, come on, microphone, stay, stay upright. I have you on a tripod for a reason. I think it just went back down immediately. Okay, you can play that kind of game, microphone. We'll live with that. Come on, microphone. Just get up there. Okay, something else is breaking down. What the heck? Oh, crap. Okay, just ignore it. We'll ignore microphone. Okay. Uh, it appears to be settled. Okay. And not that many people are mad, you know? Well, I mean, some people are decently mad. Let's see what they're mad about. Why would someone be rioting right now? Needs. Food. Uh, environment. Clothing. Basically, food. Food's always a serious complaint in the prison. People are always angry with food. There, microphone! Ugh. Stay, stay there, belt. I've been using my tripod as like a belt stand. Oh my good gosh. Okay, there. Wait, will that, will that suffice? Will that suffice? Can you, can you handle this like a man, microphone? Can you handle it like a man? I cannot. Okay, there. There, everything's all better now. Yeah, see, I had to like move around my microphone and stuff because I was doing some recording for uh, school. So I had to take it into my closet, because my closet is, like, super soundproof for some reason. Oh, this, okay, I'll probably take free fire mode off for now. Don't need to be shooting people. Yeah. We didn't ever put an armed guard in here, either. We probably should have done that. I could hire an additional one right about now. Yeah, we actually have a decent cash flow now. I know, surprising. Never thought that would ever happen again. Uh, let's see. Sale price, it's worth quite a bit. These license plate really aren't worth that much, so that's why we have a mini forest growing over here, so we can uh, cut that down one day. Right, let's get our fourth armed guard, like that. Okay, and let's assign him to the armed patrol right there. Okay, now our people can be suppressed and they can be followed. And let's just get a, another guard on this patrol here, since this is max security. And it's kind of like a high-risk area. This is like the riskiest area of the prison down here, you know? I should probably, like, install, like, six solitary doors and stuff instead of these regular ones. Oh, oh my good gosh. That guy's unconscious. He's gonna die in there. Good gosh. How many of these people want to be hired as confidential informants? Any of you thinking about it? You are. You've been thinking about it. Uh, let's recruit you. We've recruited a confidential informant. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, and let's see if there's any up here. Nope. Well, you know, at least we don't have any ex-law enforcement people that are going to die on us because they've already been killed. Yeah, I know. They got killed like a couple days before this. It was horrible. Uh, we got some pretty good coverage of our prison, 67%. Some of these people have been here for an insanely long time. A lot of the people here are also bleeding to death as well, but I guess that's just kind of a fact of the matter. What is this guy doing? So I'm just locked up. Uh, let's send him a nurse, or a doctor, just, just so, you know, he doesn't die on us. Okay, get in there, if, hopefully the guard doesn't take him before we can, uh, get him some medical assistance. You know, if that doctor doesn't take his time. Where'd that doctor go? Oh, you already got in. There we go. See, look, doctor's being useful. Treating people. Let's get this guy go. Uh, is he, is he breaking out? No, he's not. He's in. Okay, yeah. Let's get him all healed up. We don't want anyone coming out of here kind of sick. Not sick, but literally, like, almost dead. Ugh. Uh, what is that, like, 37 hours? Just 37 hours racked up. Holy crap, what did he do? Destruction, attack staff, and murder. How long is that? 37 hours locked up in a cell. That is longer than you can even assign somebody. Yeah, if we go to, um... Policy, I think it is. Policy. Yeah. Oh, crap. You can move this. There we go. Uh, apparently you can also remove that as well, so if you don't want to look at that the whole time. 12 hours, okay, so destruction's an hour of lockdown, so you attack staff, so two hours. Probably found weapons, probably found, two, I don't know how he racked up, 37 hours of time. This guy's got two, ten, 34 now, six, that is a lot of solitary time. That guy's gonna be in there for like, the next, like, eon or so. Holy crap, he's gonna starve to death. Uh... Well, that guy just used the bathroom, and, uh, yeah, apparently the tunnels in this game are also insane because we found, like, a boatload of them when I last did my, uh, shakedown. So many tunnels. At least none of the people would escape, so. 
I was doing a good job at that. Let us uh, get some more workshop presses in here. Um, so for the time being, we can also do sawing as well as uh, pressing. If that, if that makes any sense, selling as well as pressing. Probably gonna need another capacitor as well. Okay, and the power should automatically run through there. I hope, I hope it'll automatically run through there. And yeah, I think that kind of uh, settles the uh, the financial situation. We're, we're finally kind of secured. Uh, what kind of prisoners am I accepting? Uh, 22 high people, ah, well, let's do a mix. Uh, Let's open it to normal and high. There's now way, well, there's almost, it's about like an even mix. There's two low risk people which still haven't left or been killed. They must be feeling really insanely scared right about now. They're like, oh crap. Um, well, uh, what, what do we do next? What do we build next in the prison? I have no idea because we've kind of uh, covered a majority of the things that we can do. We've built offices, we've built cells. I mean, I could build another additional cell, I could save up more money, and then we could buy one of these things. We could look at what's left in the bureaucracy, the offshore tax haven, and the taser rollout. That'd actually be quite useful, so... Let's actually do the taser rollout. Because, I mean, that situation probably could have been easily subsided by tasers, rather than my guards literally just getting owned to death. What time is it that it would be locked up? Oh, it's right before, basically, shower time. Everyone has the chance to wake up. Everyone's got the chance to wake up. I took the toilet out of here and I never put it back in. That probably explain the random toilet laying around. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Uh, laundry room. Everything's working fine. Uh, let's check the uh, program. See if what's uh, let's kick in with that. A lot of the people are passing the workshop safety induction thing. Still some people interested in the kitchen safety and hygiene. A whole ton of people have finished that. Foundation, only nine have passed. 31% of the class have passed the Foundation Education Program. That's really bad. Really, really bad. Uh, behavioral Therapy at 16 and Q, if only four finished and only one ever passed. So, I don't actually think this is ever going to be getting done. And the Pharmaceutical Treatment, 28 have finished, only 11 passed. Uh, but, you know, at least people get free drugs. I'm not sure if that's a good thing. Algox Group Therapy also is sort of, sort of working, yeah. Carpentry Apprenticeship. A complex trade skill that requires good practical ability. Uh, each prisoner requires a carpentry, voluntary, practical, and advanced. And they must have completed a certain thing. But, um, yeah, not everybody wants to continue on, I guess. Let's look at this. How, is there any more people gonna pass? We can actually assign more people to work here as well. Uh, because if we go to deployment jobs, we can kind of just... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think it's how many we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We need twelve total. Let's get twelve total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, and that fills all of the uh, the extra jobs there. And now people can actually make us some good cash, good cash money. Yeah, and we can get some of the exports out of that. Good, good. And our trees are also growing as well. Did they cut one of those down? Was that... Oh, must, one of them must have finished growing. Good. We're gonna get some, some wood cut, some wood choked. And where is our armed guard? Where is he? Armed guard, where are you at? Deployment, I know I put you on this patrol. It says he's on the patrol. Okay, whoa, whoa, something broke out here. Whoa. That... Oh, it was an ex-law enforcement. Ah, uh, that explains it. And this guy got apparently only two hours of solitary for that. Okay, Ben. Interesting. Let's see, look, let's look at you. Eight days in my prison. It's so interesting to look around the prison and see all the different types of people and stuff that are in there. And what they and what they did and how they how they're holding up in the prison. It's so amazing. It's such a large yard as well, but apparently it's not big enough. I don't know. Um. Yeah, really, what we just need to do is, is we need to get more money, and we need to uh, create, like, situations and kind of figure out... I mean, we've actually kind of completed a majority of the stuff. I mean, obviously, I want to buy more land and continue on, but it's going to take me a good while because we're only making so much. We could probably accept that additional grant for cell block E. That is only $10,000, though. Actually, we should start paying back our loan, if we really think about it, because uh, we could uh, make back quite a bit. I wonder how much it tries to take back at a time. Uh... I think it only lets us pay back, like, 
so much, like 25,000 at a time, maybe? Yeah, so... Mm, we can take out that, uh... A grant for cell block E. And we can do that long-term investment, too. That's only five and we can get 16 back. Ooh, carpentry apprenticeship program. Okay, uh, for 10 superior beds. Wow, superior beds. That sounds very fancy. Uh, education reform program. That rewards a lot of money. If we can get that done, that would be very beneficial because it probably pay off for all the classes we've had done so far. We've had a lot of classes done. Jeez, uh, can't even explain it. Uh, 45,000. So yeah, I basically settled the issue. We actually should probably close our prisoner list because we don't really need... Actually, we could accept a few more. Uh, wow, look, we have just two more normal than max security. And all those max securities usually live in this area. But they're also just equally distributed around the prison. They're equally peppered. How many How many of the low people do I have left? Still two. Those two low wealth, two wealth. It's like I'm playing Sim City right now. Okay, uh, drugs found. Hmm. Oh, then. Let's look at the rooms. What could we do? We could build a morgue. We haven't built a morgue yet. We could build something right here. We could build like a tree or something. Let's plant a few trees. Let's beautify this place up. Let's make it a good prison. Okay, tree. Well, we just have kind of a couple legs now because we're replanting them. But yeah, you know, we got some woods laying around. Yes, we do. We have some wood laying around. That's what I'm talking about. Not that much though. And let's see, one tree there, and one tree there, and one tree there. There, look, we can get a whole bunch of trees, and we could probably put down some sort of ground area thing, some grass maybe. Some grass might look nice. That's like our little garden area. Maybe make it like a secondary yard or something. Yeah. That's what we're talking about. And oh, oh okay, that's walk speed slow. Um, can we get something to make people walk fast out here? Because that would be useful. We can make it all like a concrete outdoor type paving stone deal. This is paving stone, right? Yeah, it's probably paving stone. Um, we just make this all paving stone. And then people will be able to walk really fast because there's no way they can get around it. Sounds good to me. We could also do that here as well, and yeah, okay, that's legit, and we'll just watch as our people uh, happily install that. Look at you, ah, prison workers, somebody is bleeding, sorry, you're gonna get somebody HIV, please don't do that. Ooh. Man, how many people have to go in solitary? Only two more, okay, solitary is almost over, finally. Let's look at our grading. Negative four for health. I think it's gone up. But our refunding rate is still pretty low. 54 prisoners have been released. 22 have escaped. Well, at least more have been released than have escaped. Because that's very embarrassing when it happens. Really ridiculously embarrassing. Uh, let's see, can we hire any of these people? If she we just go to... Uh, contraband informants. Nope, none of those. None of those, man. Apparently the uh, high class people, high wealth, the high everything people, just the high people in general, don't like to uh, to be confidentially informed of stuff. Okay. Look at this. So, yeah, uh, basically what I'm going to need for fur further episodes, I'm going to need your suggestions on what to build. Like, uh, what do you guys want to see me do? Because I'm, I'm sort of starting to run out of ideas myself on what to do with this game, and... I mean, I love playing the game, and I'll do whatever you ask me to, to play with it, but, I mean, I just, I do want to be able to do something entertaining for you guys, and I, because I've, I've sort of done what the heck I wanted to do. I wanted to build a big prison, and I have built a considerably large prison. And, I mean, I want to add more stuff to it, and, and just tell me what you want me to add to the prison. Do you want to see more cells? Do you want to see, like, a big party room or something? I mean, no, no, no big party room. Well, I mean, you guys could do a big party room if you really wanted I don't put drains in these and something's breaking out. What's going on? Holy crap. Uh, someone please detain this person. Did he just murder three guards and not steal the shotgun? What the heck did he use? And why is he opening just that cell, by the way? Do you care? Do you remotely care, sir? Sir, do you care? Holy crap. How many guards does it take to knock one person out? Somebody get 
some backup in there. Oh my gosh. Better just leave free fire always on. Did he just kill one of our armed guards? You killed him! That was our best man! Actually, no, it isn't. This guy up here has been serving in the uh, armed guard industry. He's been our best man. Served so many years. He is hardcore to the max. Oh my good gosh. I cannot believe that. Well, your replacement is already in place. That was easy enough. Uh, yeah, as I was saying, drains. We haven't even put drains in the shower here. Okay, well, we don't need another one there. And uh, let's put two there. Okay. Now we have drains for those. Don't know why we didn't do that before. So yeah, that's, I just want to see what you guys think we should uh, we should do with this series, basically. Because I mean, I can make money, but I mean, it's just I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. And I don't know why that's what we're talking about right now. I guess we're, we're kind of in the low point of the series because, I mean, we're starting to get in kind of like the post series. I mean, because the, the main part of this was just building the prison and making it operational and just and just seeing what the heck you uh, what the heck you wanted to do. Because, I mean, once you finish basically all the grants of the game, you're, you're sort of done. I mean, carpentry, I've just never even gotten to work to begin with. And uh, the education just takes a long time. So it's not really up to you how long it takes. I mean, I could I could build a really kick, a uh, really kick good prison, but I, I just I, I just I can't, I can't do it unless you guys really want me to do it. You know, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Watching this place run though, it's pretty awesome, and I do suggest you guys get this game if you don't have it yourself because it's pretty cool to play. I just uh, I kind of wish I had the uh, the extra money here to uh, expand my properties, but yeah. Um, I think that's where I'm going to leave it for today, uh, j just mainly because there's not a whole bunch to do besides just watch the prison run and, and kind of deal with some of the issues that are occurring with the prison. You guys should suggest to me what to do next. I mean, I could amass a whole bunch of money, just leave this running in the background while I do something else on, like, YouTube, maybe record some other video and leave Prison Architect running in the background, you know? And, and so, yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching. If you like this episode, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time.